And now, it's time for the Roadshow Feedback Booth. We brought our plunder in. Arr! But they told us that our booty wasn't worth much. <laughs> I had these appraised. Bought them in 64 for $25. They're two to $300. Great, great grandma's sample was worth more than we thought. It was worth five to $600. It's more than 100 years older than my husband, but he's still my greatest treasure. I brought some more rations from my great uncle. They were worth uh, about $2 each, so <laughs> I think I can pay for parking. And I brought a pilot's hat, and what I thought would be $2 actually turned out to be almost 100 So we had a pretty good time. And now and she won't give me the hat back. <laughs> my, my money. And I've brought Nanny's dishes, and guess what? They're worthless. <laughs> so when we used to use them for Thanksgiving and Christmas only, they're now going to be an everyday plate. Thanks, Nanny. <laughs> We had a great time on Roadshow. Found out if you use your antique toys, it drops the price from $400 to $75. He has been going to yard sales and swap meets for the past 25 years, and he has brought home some very interesting items. This $3 sampler turned out to be a $900 sampler. I'm going home to look through the rest of his stuff. We'll see you next time on Antiques Roadshow. I'm Mark Wahlberg. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Antiques Roadshow. USS Nautilus. Look at that with a submarine coming out of it. Hi. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. What do you know about this? The 1955 Eric Nietzsche. And now it's time for the Roadshow Feedback Booth. I had this little trinket uh, pillbox from China that was given to me by somebody who owed me money. Well, I was told I should have gotten the money instead. I brought some Duke Ellington sheet music today and they told me that it was worth $1,500, but it was um, from my grandmother and it has more sentimental value to me than that, so I'm really happy today. And today I brought a little treasure that's been a mystery in our family for years. Turns out he's from India, he's a little warrior, and he's worth about $150. But he still reminds me of an old sci-fi show that I saw where the warrior comes to life at night and gets you. And we still keep it in the basement because it's a creepy little thing. <laughs> Jody's flying sewing machine is worth about $300 and my magazine is worth $25. The thrill of victory and the agony of the feet. We've debunked a family legend. These pistols were not used in the buckshot war that our great-great-grandfather was in. But we did learn that our great-great-grandfather was a surgeon in the Civil War because this is a Civil War surgeon sword. Not used for amputating. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> I also had a necklace that was my grandma's. I thought it was just costume jewelry. Turns out it's Czechoslovakian bronze, cut bronze and glass and has an opening to keep your trolley nickel um, valued at about $100. We had a great time today at the Roadshow. Thanks so much. So exciting. Loved it. I'm Mark Wahlberg. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Antiques Roadshow. Oh, isn't that cute? Cute is probably the wrong word for it, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, for Picasso. Is it a Picasso? You tell me. I couldn't tell you. They'll tell you, but let's okay. look. Let's see. Okay. And now, it's time for the Roadshow Feedback Booth. They think he's from about 1930, and he was worth two to $3,000. They said they'd give us less money if we didn't dress up like this. So doing this made us a little bit of dough. Yeah. And my wonderful great-grandmother's watch, which I thought was going to put us into retirement, will not. And the event guide matches my shirt. We brought in our $5 estate sale find that we talked the folks down from $500 at the estate sale. And, and I kind of worried that we'd overpaid. Well, turns out one appraiser loved it, one didn't. So we're going with the appraiser that loved it. Fifteen to eight hundred, eighteen hundred dollars. We're happy campers. And we brought in this perfume <laughs> bottle. Found out it is a very early Lalique, worth a lot of money. Except the top is glued on, and it's got these <laughs> chips. So it's only worth three hundred instead of many thousands more. But we love Antiques Roadshow, and we had a great time today. A great time. <laughs> and uh, I brought in a piece of uh, World War II memorabilia. It's a letter opener made out of shrapnel my dad brought back from the war. And now I can say, I got a $100 letter opener. <laughs>
<laughs> You've heard the story of just another pretty face. Well, this is just another pretty vase. $125 pretty vase. But we got it. Yay! I'm Mark Wahlberg. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Antiques Roadshow. Do you know how to use it? No? That's really wonderful. Where'd you get it?